Good day, good day everyone, good day everyone. I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. For those who are still new guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new content. Okay, today we're here for computer wise financial system and six. But guys, I want you to be aware of something. The syllabus has changed. As you can see the question paper on the screen, it says 1 June 2016, which the syllabus that was uh, the date on, in, on N6 guys, which was done on N6, like it was pastel partner advanced guys, advanced pastel, advanced pastel partner guys. So the syllabus has changed. What was done in N6 will be done in N5 guys. So they have moved pastel payroll HR to N6 and take advanced pastel partner to N5 guys. So for those who were doing N4 last semester, don't panic because we are used to this system. It's just uh, on N5 guys, you'll be creating a company from scratch, but without using a setup assistant guys so today's lesson i'm going to show you how to create a company from scratch without using a setup assistance we're going to use this question paper uh it was a uh, june examination written on the first of june 2016 guys even though the syllabus has changed but the, the duration of the exam hasn't changed it's still three hours guys okay first before we can even go to the system let's start uh, by checking your instruction on the question paper bear in mind this is what you're going to write under n5 not n6 guys the question paper i know it says n6 but this is computer wise financial system n5 to the new syllabus okay let's start today's lesson guys can scroll down so i can read the question okay Second page of the question paper, instruction to candidate and invigilators. Candidate have 10 minutes to read through the following instruction. Guys, please be take note of the instruction. Read each and everything. Wait for the instruction from the invigilators before you turn the page. Let's go. Try to read here. This instruction. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, let me read. Uh, let's say instruction and information. Number one, answer all the questions. Number two, read all the questions carefully. Number three, name the answer according to the numbering system used in this question paper. Number four, use the font Arial and Calibra 10 or 12 for spreadsheet questions, guys. Number five, the time allocated for the question paper is three hours. Like I've said, no extra time will be given for printing. Number six, save your work regularly to prevent loss of work in the event of a power failure or breakdown of a computer. So it is important for you to save your work, guys, after you've done, like if you everything just save your work uh, okay still on number six only actual time lost will be added by the invigilator no additional time will be allowed to redo lost work number seven each answer must be printed on a separate sheet of paper and on one side of the paper only number eight arrange your print out in the same order as that of the questions in the question paper marks will be deducted if printouts are not in order number nine only one printout pair instruction must be handed in if more than one printout of the same question is handed in only the first printout will be marked and the marks will be deducted for extra prints out okay Number 10, your examination number, the most important part of this examination. Your examination number must be printed on all printouts. 
no print out without an, an examination number or a hand or, or with a hand writing number will be marked so you don't have to write your examination number using your pen guys you know where to go to your company parameters but anyway we'll do them do not type your name or surname at the end of the examination session all printouts to be marked must be placed in the examination folder and handed to the invigilator all extra faulty print out must be also handed into the invigilator no print out may be taken out of the examination room guys okay guys they, uh i read all the instruction guys eh? uh wait for the instruction from the invigilator before you turn the page okay cool. let's go to question one remember this is computer wise financial system n5 to the new syllabus is n5 guys where we creating a company from scratch but we not using setup assistant guys okay question one pastel you work in a financial department of Sally corner shop you are required to computerize her set of account on a pastel program okay guys let me put this in simpler form you are a bookkeeper of Sally's corner shop so Sally let's say they've given you uh, accounts where they they have done the accounts but manually so you have to computerize the set of account on a pastel program guys that's what you need to do so we can uh, one one point one point one uh, create a new set of account name is Sally do not use the setup assistant uh select file new new company name is Sally. click on start new company create that's what we're going to do for now then we'll come back to the question paper and proceed guys okay let me open my program which is tell your pastel partner as you can see on top guys say say 50 cent pastel partner still the same program you're using under n4 guys but now is advanced pastel partner okay we're now creating a company from scratch remember your folder icon and this file on top are the same thing okay let's use this one they say we need to create a new company we go to new but we're not using setup assistant guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when i upload new content guys okay they say we supposed to use that new company okay the name of the company is what is Sally uh, Sally okay then we click next okay still loading still loading still loading let's wait for it okay then you come here guys you go to your password let's use one two three one two three tap one two three tap your name since my name is d i'm gonna use my name okay then tap your email address anything that has a gmail.com it will allow you okay uh security question let's use college your answer is swgc okay then you click okay it's loading okay guys as you can see we have now created a company called what say but it's a box as you can see no customers no suppliers no inventory not even a general ledger guys no nothing it's just a box guys so like I've said, we're creating everything from scratch. Okay, let's go back to the question paper and proceed. Okay. They've said, uh, create the following under the setup menu. This box, you, this box, everything you're going to create, you're going to create under setup menu, guys. That's what it means. Okay. Company parameters. Name of the business is sell it up or type your own examination number. Use Control Shift and G if necessary. 
to and to insert to and to insert your own examination number antique use multi-century on the multi-century tab then click ok that's what we're gonna do right now okay they said we need to go to set up and use our and install insert our examination number under company parameters your password is one two three then press enter and eventually a company parameters is up. okay so loading you click guys guys there's something i need to tell you some when they <coughs> get to this point né? what they do just click one then it will become blue guys do not hide anything just click but majority of you what you do you come here and click it twice so it becomes white then you think you're gonna be able to delete you can't delete. you can't delete guys when it's blue you just have to press your control shift and t but since we've made a mistake we have to start the process again guys okay let's click can start from scratch guys go to setup company parameters you just have to click it once when you can when you become guys you click your control shift and t at the same time control shift t then this will appear then you write your examination number but for this lesson let's write our let's say say name is fine let me write my say name Barala. uh my initials cheers okay when you're writing your examination your, your test your, your examination guys you have to include your workstation your workstation is where you are seated and your workstation okay in simple term is your pc number guys if your pc number is 10 you write pc 10 so they can know when they disappear between your prints out okay okay but remember they say we need to go to multi currency and antique multi currency then we can click okay because if you haven't done this process you won't be able to go out from this page guys so it is important for you to remember the steps when you're inserting your company parameters guys okay let's go okay let's go back to the question paper since we're done with company parameters they say report writers categories guys report writers category under under still under setup menu guys which is one capital number two current assets number three current liabilities number four sales number five cost of sales number six income number seven expenses i'm gonna i'm gonna do this one step at a time guys so you can be able to follow and understand okay let's go to setup they say we need to set up our report titles category then the, when is blue just have to type guys when is blue you just have to type let's type capital number first number two is current assets assets okay uh let me check my spelling for also okay it's current okay i'm right yeah current assets okay then here then you press tap current liabilities liar liar sorry b ladies number four is sales cost of sales okay space cost of sales incomes sorry incomes and what the last one it was expenses expenses then you click okay if a question guys they say you are required to print your report writer category guys just remember everything you need to print guys you have to go to view you have to view if you have like what we did with report writers we record it then we click ok then it disappeared from your screen so if you want to find it back and you have to print it you have to go to view guys view general ledger under listing then you find your report writers category guys yes we is fine you can print from the screen so you can be able to see click ok 
then this is what you're going to produce guys that's what they are required to print if they say they want a reports writers category list guys this is what you need to print okay let's click close then post go back to the paper then they said entry types are uh, is general general dr debited guys debited under still setup guys you go to what entry types your password is one two three okay they say it is what well, general general just have to write your general 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 right general general 